Alright y'all, y'all been waiting for this. A tutorial on an F40PH. Alright, let's get started. So we need gray concrete. Polish in the size stairs. Polish in the size block. Polish in the size slab. Uh, birch fence gate. Spruce fence gate. Let's start with the wheels. Actually, let's start with the the two back-to-back -back stairs. Is that another back-to-back -back stair right there? And two fence gates around it. And gray concrete for the wheels. Birch fence gates across here. Polish and a block across that. And uh, we need polish deep slate block, stairs, and slab. Pause deep sleep block, uh, um, my bad, stairs above this fence gate. Add Did this right? Yep. And then plus make this, uh, cornered. Then put a uh, back to back stairs this time uh, right side up. Mm. This was well, steep slate uh, surrounding this. Anything? Oh, yeah. Polished deep slate slab surrounding this. Oh, yeah. Uh, two, two polished deep slate slabs, two birch fence, two, uh, my bad, two spruce fence gates opened. Pretty much add eight uh, pause deep slate. Do any block you want. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one slab. And then five. One, two, three, four, five. And then another upside down back to back. Pause and to say stairs. And then pause and to say slab. Between those back to back stairs. And then finally add your back truck. Add your fence gate. Uh, my, your, add your birch fence gates. Right here. Is that on the back? Oh yeah. Let's add uh, hoppers. Oh yeah. Add your stairs and then your hoppers. Add your right side up stair. Like towards the middle. 
and then uh, birch trap doors surrounding the stairs. At your hopper, pause the intersection stairs. Just repeat this. Just repeat this. Um, just repeat it on both sides. It's the same. Both. They're both the same size. Both the same thing. And then you you probably need a daily detector. And turn this to blue. And then add uh, a polished indecise slab. Oh, don't forget to add, add this right here. Just the same thing in the front. Again, two back to back. Right set up stair. Add uh, one, two, three, four, five, and to say block, and then three slaps. Actually, make this a, a three by five, and add your upside down stair on both sides. Wait, how did I build this? Oh, I made a mistake. Is that the way how I did it on this side? Three, right, yep. And add your uh, right side upstairs both sides since that's going to be your step to get up towards the locomotive and then just make a 3 by 5 uh, make a a 5 by 5 oh wait my bad a 3 by 5 and then add 5 slaps of Hodgson to say and then uh, whatever color for like the bottom half let's take a black concrete that's going to be like your step to get up to the locomotive or because uh, I don't feel like doing the, the diesel version of an F forty PH I decided to do the 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 one that's been turned into a cap car. Is that slap? Oh wait that's a block. Oh yeah, for the plow let's use Let me get rid of this crap that I don't need. So let's use pause deep slate wall. Cyan terracotta. Oh. Dark oak fence gate. Add these for your air brake hoses. And don't forget to add your your pause deep slate stairs, another brick slab, chain, and birch fence gate. Add your birch fence gate facing towards the front. And add your another brick slab or coupler and that chains uh, surrounding it. And add another. Uh, birch, uh, uh, add another uh, 
dark oak fence gates uh, surrounding the chain. Hey. Uh. Pause deep slate wall surrounding this. Oh, oh, I forgot. I made a mistake. Add, add some more uh, slabs above the hopper. Uh, I'm actually going to open these up. There we go. So. Alright, so I still need a. Uh, actually, let's make uh, the plow. That's at the back. So we. We still need a uh, pause deep slate stairs. Just. Uh, just. In my case, uh. You can use, like, whatever stairs. You can use, like, blackstone. I'm just. For, like, whatever locomotive you want. Whatever, like, whatever color you want. I'm just doing, uh, deep, deep slate. Alright, so that's facing. Uh. So, it's, so that was facing towards the front. Mm. Alright, so three uh, polished deep slate slab. And then your deep slate, polished deep slate wall. And then, and right side up stair. And then add your air brake hoses again. And then your, and your birch fence gate again. This time facing towards the front. Your nether brick slab chain and birch fence again chain surrounding your coupler and opened dark oak fence gates surrounding the chain add a 2x2 two two of birch fence and a, a birch trap door uh, be between the fence, but like on a freight locomotive, use a uh, chain. This at a uh, five slaps across right there. Just do any block of choice. Just just fill this all the way to the front. Is that three? Uh, across the front of that stair. Yeah. So we still need a uh, three slabs across these stairs. Yeah. Then you can just add the the floor for the locomotive or the now. And where does this stop? So that's pretty much gonna be your bell area. Just finish this like like towards the the front. Let's pretty much stop like right here. And then add black concrete ladder 
same thing on this side. Let's uh, stop, like, right here. And then... Again, like, you can choose, like, any color you want. Uh, let's make a 2x5 of any block of choice. I'm using white concrete for this build. And then smooth quartz slab. I'm going to take an item frame on a white stained glass and a white bed. There you go. And add a chain above the light. And just pretty much add a white concrete. Again, any block you want. All the way to the back. So, like, let's do a white stained glass pane and add it three up. One, two, three. How much blocks tall is it? One, two, three, four. So, four up. One, two, three, four. So you skip three, so that would be a three by four. One, two, three. Just drill out a hole. Just do the same thing to this side. Uh, let me set this let me do so this can be always day let me change this back to day there we go is that better add your four glass pane on top is that four? One, two, three. Oh, yeah, three. And add like a. And add a, th a two by three here, and then. And then add a dark oak trap door as like this little window right here. And use black concrete for the and then black concrete behind it and just pretty much fill this all the way to the front let's take a black stained glass black stained pane uh, we, we still need a white stain pain so two here sit down that side lever birch door Pretty much add your ladder. At 
this would be like the step to get up to the locomotive. Let's pretty much drill this out for your your entrances to get up to the baggage area. Since this can be like a a baggage and cab control car. This would be a cab baggage car. And then draw make this a two by four. That's gonna be like your Let's drill this out on the same side. And add iron bars. Again, below the hop of oh, open levers. That's four. Close that. Add three. And bars and oh yeah let's add a 3x3 three three of uh, white concrete I'm actually gonna make this like a cube shape and then add a T shape of uh, and we just go all the way to the back And you, uh, let's take a smooth, uh, smooth quartz slab, and then just fill in these corners. Oh, yeah. Uh, we might need a a posendesai slab again. So that's two. It's four. Did I do this right? Oh, I made a mistake. So it's like right here. I'm gonna go inside the car. Let's pretty much go inside the locomotive. And then just redo this. Black concrete behind it. Behind where that trap door is gonna be. And then. Yeah, pretty much cover this up. And then add your birch fence gate. And then add your birch fence gate. If you want, uh, pretty much put this over it. I'm going to do the same thing to this one as well. And again, just add your uh, smooth quartz slab. And move this all the way to the front. Oh yeah, we can't uh, cor we can't forget to corner the windshield. <laughs> All right, let's actually make a temporary block, like where you. 
bogey is yeah if you want if you want to add this detail on the 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 bogey yeah if you if you're building the diesel version of the f40 ph uh, you'll pretty much add, need to add more detail so like if you're building the cat car version of the f40 ph then uh, you don't need to add detail Again, you can use this as a temper. Uh, you can add these if uh, if you want. But it's up to you. I'm not hating on you guys. There you go. Again, you can choose this as any color. Use a torch as your strobe lights. It pretty much add birch sign for your number. I forgot to do the same thing to this one. Just use redstone torch as your marker lights. Alright, let's see if we did everything. Yes, sir. Oh, wait. Uh, birch fence between that. Oh, you do it on both sides. All right, that is pretty much it on how to build the F40 PH cap car. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, before the video ends, uh, let me show uh, memories of of two other locomotives. So like, so this is locomotive fifty nine fifty eight. Uh, this locomotive uh, was trailing forty nine thirty four, and suddenly it was scrapped from fire in Castleton, South Dakota. So like, uh, would you uh, comment below? Uh, if you ever you ever want to share anything about uh, BNSF 5958, and for 4934, uh, so 4934 was like 15 years old, just before it got scrapped, and 5958 was like uh, uh, seven years old. Uh, comment below. Alright, comment below, uh, if you want to share anything about uh, 4934. It was the leader of an oil train. Because I know, sadly, after the crash in uh, Castleton, South da Castleton, South Dakota, both of these locomotives were sadly scrapped.
Again, comment below uh, if you want to share any memories uh, with the with these two locomotives. Well, the one that's you can go in and watch the the video of like both these locomotives getting scrapped. All right. All right, this is it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. All right, let's work on something else.